V game. I believe the first, I think Fawn sent numbers into losers. If I know it was today, I'm sorry. Actually, numbers have beat Fawn in winner semis. Okay, I see, I see, I see you numbers, I see you numbers. So hopefully this is the run back that Fawn was looking for in order to you know you know put numbers in their place like they did yesterday at Waypoint. But maybe numbers is here to be like, you may have beat me once yesterday. I meet you once today. I'll meet you again right now. So here we go. Going over a small battlefield. The Duck Hunt is out to play. Something that is so good against Wii Fit just because of the amount of projectiles that, you know, Fawn has in their disposal. And we saw the amount of times that, uh, I'm sorry, that Fawn is able to take out Can in the smallest of gaps in, uh, in their opponent's combos. It's just like, small gap, frame one Can. You can't, you can't beat it. There's no frame zero, so like, hello. So either way, well, technically, but either way, either way. We're already seeing Fawn in a very, very amazing situation under the platform where they are most comfortable pulling out Gunman, setting up Can, and of course Clay Pigeon just to get the extra damage uh, and, you know, set combo started. But Numbers reversing the situation, reversing the roles now to keep <laughs> to keep Fawn off from the ledge until that Clay Pigeon comes out, double Clay Pigeon into the beautiful Duck Hunt up there, taking that first stock away from Numbers efficiently, and now we are itching for some extra credit, just in case that we fit deep breathing. There she is. There it. There it is. We fit deep breathing comes in and takes that stock for free. Numbers continues to roll to the to the center of the stage. This is allowing Duck Hunt to catch Numbers in the roll, and um, and also sub Can in the other side. So really, Numbers is trapped between two walls, which is the threat of Duck Hunt Clay Pigeon or the threat of Can. We have Gunman also active on the stage right here. It's, it, again. I always like to mention this, mention the fact that the police platforms, whenever Duck Hunt has his position, the stage positioning on these platforms, it's like a house. It's like two houses in the block right now. You can set up gunmen, that's your wall. You set up can, that's your second wall. And guess what? Clay Pigeon, that's your that's your main weapon. Your main line of defense. And numbers, well, numbers has to control the center stage however he can. You cannot allow Fawn to keep hiding out on these platforms. Where you want Fawn is exactly right there, right on the edge. Or right, see, right in the air where we fit is simply superior in terms of um, you know kill, kill 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 power and potential off the stage like that. So here we go, can once more on the ledge and so is numbers right by, by you know by default. Okay, lots lots of fun taking control of that air beautifully and thankfully nothing to their name either. We are at zero zero last stock first game of the set of a potential three game. So both kind of keeping it in neutral, trying to see who is going to get the first hit, and there it is, Numbers once again with the F2 and M5 by Deep Breathing. Oh, that's huge. That's absolutely huge for him. Oh, nice patience, just waiting out where their uh, Fawn was going to roll in, or neutral get, or even get attack, but it would have been on shield anyway, giving Numbers a free, free punish. Here's that F2 once more, and dash attacking the gunman might be a little bit of a bait that Fawn does throw out in favor of themselves. All right, coming in free with a roll, and of course, Gunman taking the, 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 the heat, literally, the heat of Sun Salutation. So Can once more, Numbers wisely choosing to jump away from Can, re-grabbing the ledge at the same time, and restarting the invincibility. Re-grab, and there it is. Oof! So how Sun Salutation just absolutely destroyed Can. Oh, you hate to see it, truly. Oh, that can is exploding the amount of hits that, you go, that it takes. Oh, it just it just simply be going. Numbers often jump back on ledge, and now we're caught in some up. Oh, just one up there, just one up there. Good for numbers to jumping away from the situation at hand. You want the breathing before you start approaching Fawn's duck hunt once more. Oh, there's no way. Oh, that felt. Look at look look at this stone face killer. Stone face cold blooded. Absolutely cold-blooded. Look at. Thank you for the zoom in. I want to really just emp like, emphasize. Can't believe it. You would do this. <laughs> you would. Hold on. You would I, do I this. I don't know if I can do this quick enough. Uh, you got this. You got this. I believe in you. Uh. I don't think. I don't think I can draw on like. Oh my god! <laughs> there, we go. there we go. I made him. Made him angry. Evil. He is evil. Evil Angie. Oh my goodness. That was really funny. That was like actually perfect. Thank you for yeah. the evil like dark room. 
the red room, honestly. I wasn't sure if that was going to work the way it did, but I'm <laughs> it really worked, glad that it It worked did. better than expected, yeah. honestly. It could have easily been, like, a red screen, and that's it. Yeah. I was hoping I'd be able to, like, to fade it in. But. Nah, I, I think there's the stark, like, yeah. boom, which is really emphasi em emphasi em yeah. emphasized it. Either way, what's emphasizing for now is the way uh, that up tilt and header is just working wonders now. There's absolutely no way. Fawn shaking their head in disbelief that that's how their first ult goes that quickly. But Fawn can easily take this back. Beautiful can. Um, just keeping track of where you are going after can explodes on you with the up air. The tracking goes crazy, honestly. That's, that's just years of work. Beautiful carry throughout the stage with the forward air. Numbers back on, on the ledge as usual. Rolling in, that roll is humongous. Why is it like that? Oh. Really just seeing a lot of adaptation from the first game. Fawn opting to keep themselves really, really close to the ledge rather than kind of backing away mostly in roll distance um, from ledge. But now here comes Numbers coming in with header rather than any other typical getup. Um, option from ledge. It was 170%. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Again, trajectory and knowing that the, like where your opponent is going to go once you do this exact move and where Kana is going is so detrimental to knowing how and mastering duck hunt. Often to go for the up smash and also the back air to cover any distance behind numbers. Thankfully, Fawn does know better. You never want to really go behind We Fit when she has that frame 6 back air. Numbers is just, just playing around. Numbers is doing tumbling. Tumbling classes are, is happening at the moment. No breathing that roll. Starting to get a little bit slower the more that Numbers uses it. Here we go. That beautiful grab off of Numbers thro uh, forward throw. Going real deep into the stage there. No time for sub for Fawn either. No, the gunman, we have the crouch that usually gets numbers out of good situations, but here's the punish for it. Come on, say, I want to really, really emphasize Duck Hunt's positioning is so important in this matchup specifically. And also, many matchups in the first place, when you have a, when you're finding a character like Wee Fit, who has basically pretty much one projectile and many funky hitboxes and a really deep roll, you know exactly where she's going to be going in terms of rolling, in terms of distance, in terms of where she wants to be spaced anyway. Duck Hunt being on the very, um, on the, like, the far left and far right side of the stage, but not quite on the edge to set up Gunman and set up uh, Can. So, so important. That platform also covers any unsafe um, unsafeness from the air anyway. And of course, I feel like I don't even have to like, discuss Numbers' position. Numbers, numbers' position is usually on the ledge, just for safety, just for game deep breathing, for recovery op purposes. But when Numbers wants to, oh my goodness, no way. Oh my goodness. If Numbers wants to, he can become deranged. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him! He's just he's, waiting. He's, Does this, like, fist bump me? Or no? There we go. This, 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 this. John Why? was really standing in John the fist bump just, waiting room. John is like, like, Literally like, the like fist a little bump kid. Waiting room. Look at him. Just, that's like, the just waiting stand. room right there. No, he has like, his hand behind his back like he did something wrong. Or he's hiding something. He's like, uh... I can't. I can't. That's, I can't. That's too good. This is like, this is like when you're in trouble with your mom and you're like... Fist pump right waiting room. Fist pump waiting room. Yeah. Is that is that what we're gonna call that, it now? I it was just so it was so patient. It was great. <laughs> I, I just I he's, love, he's yeah. just patient. Welcome he's like, to the fist, fist bump, bump. Right, waiting room. My fist Beautiful. bump.